With the ruling Democratic Party's big win in yesterday's election, the government's expected to speed up its key economic policies, which are based on three main pillars of income-led growth, a fair economy, and innovative growth. Yoon Jung-min reports. With the ruling Democratic Party winning a landslide in this year's general election, the government and the ruling party are to keep pushing their economic policies under the slogans of fairness and co-prosperity. The ruling Democratic Party has pledged to nurture venture firms and double the amount of vouchers used at traditional markets and mom-and-pop stores. It also said it will help to nurture the biotech, fintech and AI industries. With the ruling party now having a majority in the National Assembly, the government will find it easier to get approval for its policies and budget plans. That comes as President Moon Jae-in now has two years left of his five-year single term. The election result is likely to strengthen the government during the latter part of the Moon administration. The government is expected to focus on seeking future growth engines, particularly venture firms and bio-industries. Some experts point out that although the ruling party won big in this election, it should still work together with opposition parties to design balanced policies. There should be a bipartisan committee, which includes economic experts from both the ruling and opposition parties, to overcome the impact of COVID-19 and come up with measures against a possible long-term recession. When it comes to emergency measures due to the coronavirus outbreak, the government and the ruling party are to push their economic packages further and faster. Those may include handing out more money to people and companies hit by the pandemic if the virus impact lingers longer than expected. Aside from all these measures, the ruling party aims to impose stricter rules to protect the labor market, and they might also consider revising rules for the local real estate market. Yoon Jong-min, Arirang News.